Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. Well, today we are going to finish the fence. And as you can see, it's not raining, but we do have a mess. Um, we are going to get this figured out one way or another. Um, I know it was super, super wet and we worked all evening yesterday in the rain, but we've got the panels here. The water guy's supposed to be here today at one o'clock. We're going to put the water in and we're going to have the goats and all the animals pinned up over here. They've got with buying the new panels, making, making it a wrap around the pond. They're going to have a lot of room and we're going to be able to take the kids hunting. So we're super excited about that. Um, we've got some big deer showing up. Layton and the kids are excited. I don't know what Braley's doing. Braley's, what are you doing down there? Huh? Chicken mode. But um, anyways, as y'all see, Cason's arm, he, it's got some scab, uh, you know, the dry skin on it. Um, can you show them how far you can bend it? Put it down here. Now bend it to your shoulder as far as you can go. He's getting better. He's getting better. It's but, still uh, swollen, but we, we're icing it. And yeah, it's getting a lot better. And um, so we're super excited that y'all are following us along. And don't forget, if you want to check out our membership, see some behind the scene footage or just some silly stuff that we don't put out there just because all the trolls would... Uh, you know, take off and run with it and just start all kinds of stuff. We like posting all kinds of stuff, but some people take things out of context. And I know if you are a member, you're not. So we post little extra videos. It ain't nothing that any of the subscribers are, are missing out on. It's just extra or you get to see it before or just some funny scenes. I know, um, I know, I, I mean, I wished I could uh, be a member to a lot of the channels that I'm a member to, but ever so often I have to back out and I won't get to be a member with that channel for a few months. So I know what it's like, but anyways, if you're interested, that's there. Um, we're going to go down here and start pulling the fence post. Um, once we get all the fence posts pulled, we're going to come up here and start wrapping the fence up. The truck is parked. I don't know if you can see through the trees there. We parked it right there because that's where the the uh we're going to start the the panels on that end um we will have to get the uh, backhoe load all the um t-post and then we got a bunch more t-post up there we're going to grab so it's going to be one of those days it's going to be a nice day and um a, muddy day. a nice muddy day so uh before we get started though last night um a as y'all seen the last video seemed like everything we did something happened something happened and i don't know sometimes you just think you know why why but a lot of this stuff is things that we learn we know next time to get the vehicles out on the road um we just had to have that vehicle to go get the panels and stuff but i woke up at 1 a.m last night and uh grabbed the phone to look see what time it was and and i opened up facebook and i do that quite often facebook or youtube and and dale homestead um popped up on a reel and i'm going to, i haven't talked to her yet but i'm going to ask her if i can play this reel in my video but that message i needed that from yesterday it was a rough day and I don't know. It's just like you woke up and and hearing that message come through her was like a sign from God. And it just gives you hope and encourage that everything's going to be all right. Maybe it's time to stop for a minute, to breathe, and to be proud of yourself for how far you've come. Because God isn't asking you to figure it all out. He's asking you to trust that he already has. Aunt Dilly's Daily. Y'all have a good day. If y'all don't know Ann Dale Homestead, definitely go over there, check her out. She's on Facebook and, and YouTube. Um, she has no clue that I'm even saying this, but her message that was sent to me last night is definitely made my day a lot better. So anyways, we're going to go up here and get started. Steph, I'm going to have you lift me up in the tree 
battery. I'm going to get that camera, put new batteries in it. We're, gonna... so we're getting ready to go down and get the T-Pulse down our hunting spot. So I told Leighton that we need to get all of our um, stuff, that the feed and stuff, so we can take it down there. Once we come out, we won't have to come back in there or go back in there. So here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Get out of here. Hey. Hey. All right guys, so we've made it down here. We're gonna go ahead and collect all the fence posts. There's where one of our cameras setting. And that other camera we're going to bring up, I'm going to probably set it right back there because I think there's actually deer that's crossing back there. Um, we just like watching them, so that's kind of our deal. If you're new to the channel, this is where our deer blind is. So hopefully we'll get a chance to go hunting this week. Don't bend it too much and break it off, though. Good job, bud. Hey, now that you swung it back and forth this way, go this way too. There you go. Now try it. <laughs> Look at you. Just put it down and go to the next one. This one's gonna get as much rain and there's concrete right under it. <laughs> Look, Dad thinks he's big. That's right. Shirt up here. Um, I see my muscle white. Mm -hmm. You help me get this other one. It's fine. I want to see. I want my muscle hard. Okay. That how my that how um muscle do. Okay. There you go. How about um, yeah, um when it when it first hit me, it almost got up. Yeah. It almost. So we need to hit you up again so that it actually comes up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, shake it some. Wow. Good job. That's what that's what I mean. You work so hard at it, you keep on. Never give up. Never give up. Work yeah. as a team and you can get more accomplished. Think that right? Yeah, and we get our muscles. The more Let me see them muscles. Show us it. Woo wee. Let me see, Casey. Them big old muscles. Let's see yours. I'm trying to do this. These little muscles. Mm -mm. Oh, them little muscles. That's because no, your I arm was big, been in a cast. I got big ones. Yeah, you got big ones. Yeah, you you got big ones. Yeah, watch. Go. Yeah, no matter what, don't give up. Pull, 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 pull. All right, there you go. Pull, 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 pull. Yes! That's awesome. Get that at five. That's woo! Get five. Good job. Yeah, you did a good job too, baby. All right, guys, that didn't take long. We worked as a team, 
and uh, got it all wrapped up. The kids had a great time. It's always good when you can make them feel feel wanted, and and that way they can do things. And later on, they can come out here and do this stuff by themselves. It's all about teaching them. And that's one thing I want my children, my boys and girls, both, to be able to do things without depending on someone. Try not to mess up my new shirt here. Look, look at this. Yeah, what is it? This is, hopefully this, I noticed the big bucks that was coming in last night um, was eating on one of these. We've got another one right there. Go ahead and get that bag, son. Graniac, extra large. Go ahead and open it right there. Good job, girls. Awesome. There you I'll go. Roll it. Roll it over. There it is. And then we have some deer candy. Oh, yeah. A little better on Halloween. Yeah, on Halloween, a little bit of deer candy. Um, boss Buck. Um, this is supposed to attract uh, deer with the it. smell and let me tell you it's been working because uh, we had some big bucks in here last night and not before so we're getting close they're coming in mm, smells like uh, peanut butter oh, that peanut butter it smells like the peanut uh, place it's, it's back up yeah I feel like I want to eat it I feel like I want to eat it. Mm -hmm. Good job. I need y'all to back up so I can see what it's getting. Go out there. Go out by the feeder. Those two deer you can't put in the freezer. Mm -mm. it up for the donut astern so hopefully we can get some big deer to come through <laughs> one at a time Madison let's go about rip my my arms. Well, I feel, um, we done. We go back down there. No, we're going back down there. Is that all the teaspoons you're getting? That's pretty good. We need to give you a name. You're so sweet. Boy, where you at? I know you're up there somewhere. You see them? No, it's going to be low. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. I told you I was going to go. What the heck? It looks white because of how cloudy it is. Oh, what? Where? Oh. The boys are gonna pull the truck up. Y'all yeah. dogs herding all these goats up here? Good job, girls. Y'all doing good. Come here, girl. Good job, girl. Carly girl. Carly girl. Dixie Carly. girl. This is his first time pulling a trailer. Yeah. Right, we're going to go ahead and unhook them and start unloading. You know how to break one of these over? Uh, well, come over here and let me show you. Alright, go ahead and break it over. No, just go ahead and push it all the way. Right there. And you gotta push real hard. Just push. No, push, not pull. Push. And broke it over. Grab this here at the bottom and pull up. Loosen your strap. Go over there and get the other side. Feel them here. They got them back. Let's get it. We're getting this stuff done. One thing about it, it's going to be easy to drive the T-post. I videoed it all. You throw in your temper tantrum. She said y'all were taking too long. Oh, yeah. Look at my You can do it. I'm gonna make you stop. <laughs>
It's, it's cutting on the top. Yeah. That's why it keeps coming off. So now, so now we're going to start, me and Layton's going to start pulling these panels all the way to the back. And then um, we'll kind of go from there. I'm holding that too. Carly, she's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Ain't you? Isn't she? She's a good girl. Yeah. I'm holding too. I got this one. Carly's a good girl. And there's Dixie. Dixie heard the lovings, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah not those kind of lovings. <laughs> Let's go move ahead. that, move that rope out of the way, bub. Go ahead and start with three and see if we can handle three. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, let's see that rope. Right. Oh, have you done? I got this so far. Cause that, oh, cause that dingy. I'm going to hear Good job, bud. I got my own rope. You do? Woo. That's a big workout. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got them lined all the way up to the corner of where we're going. As you can see, we've made it to right here at this turning point. So hopefully the hard work is over dragging them. So me and Layton's going to drag these others. And hopefully if my math's right, we're going to have enough to complete this. So we'll see what happens. So we only got a few more to drag here. And then we should be good to start um, putting people in. Good job. Your math might be a little bit good, I guess. Hopefully. Perfect. He learned that from me. Keep our fingers crossed, our water man the plumber's supposed to be here sometime today. Hopefully we get the water. But it's been muddy, so I don't know if he's going to make it or not. But we're going to hope. So everything's coming together. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate all the support that uh, by watching our videos, uh, watching all the way through the ads. That does nothing but help us. It's nice and cool. It's a little muddy, but we're having fun. So let's go down here and put some T-post in. No, I'm gonna pull it out. You're doing an amazing job. Good job.
right now, so we got everything laid out. Now we are going to go get the T-post driver and get our wire cutters and our pliers, and we are going to get to tying some pins. So follow us along. All right, guys, so we got all the panels laid out. Now we've come up to the front. We was going to wait, but I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to take all this uh, mud off here, and then I'm going to lay that rock out because we get, we're tracking so much mud into the camper. It's unreal stuff. It's having to clean four or five times a day. Just keep the mud out, and it still ain't enough. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to come out and scoop all this uh, clay, and I'm going to kind of push it over here. And because uh, we only need this one spot here when we go to um, connecting the water line. So we'll just see how it goes. Got out right over there.
Huh? I know there's a little bit, but it's fine. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up. We'll walk up here towards the gate. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, this is going to be a two-part video. The second part will be posted next. Thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell.